Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Recently, patients have been coming in inquiring about other methods to remove a tattoo that do not utilize laser technology. Most of the time, these are older therapies that have been abandoned. When we want to remove a tattoo, we have several choices. We have the laser removal, surgical precision, salivation, dermabrasion, and then scar formers. When we're dealing with the laser tattoo removal, it's the least likely process to leave you with a scar. However, it is the most lengthy process and also the most costly. Surgical excision is very quick. I refer patients for surgical excision when they have small tattoos that they need to have removed immediately, whether it be for a job or for the military service. You do develop a scar, but it's a surgical scar. They can surgically excise large tattoos, however it's impractical in that skin crafting will be required. When we're doing dermabrasion, that's just a more aggressive version of the dermabrasion that you hear at the local spa. Again, you are debriding the tissue down to the ink level, very likely to create a scar. Salibration is the method that most of the patients were discussing. That's adding a very strong salt solution onto the tattoo, massaging it or rubbering it very vigorously for 30 to 40 minutes. As you can see, when you're done rubbing it, it is very hyperemic, it's very red, it's very sore, and you could fairly be certain that you're gonna develop an extensive scar. And then finally, we have the uh, escar formation. Escar formers are substances that are placed on the skin that break the bonds of the skin down. And after a few days, after applying this, a clump of skin comes off with the ink inside it usually, that is certain to develop an scar. In other words, a very thick scar, very similar to a smallpox vaccine scar. So those are the most common methods. There is a method that you are injecting something in and flushing the ink out. However, that's not in the medical field, and I will not be discussing that during this uh, video. I hope you learned something from this. I hope it helped making your decisions on how to remove your tattoo. And have a great day.